Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will be installing Kali Linux on your Mac using VirtualBox. So let's get started. First, open any browser and search VirtualBox. Click on the first download VirtualBox link. This is the official VirtualBox website from where you can download the VirtualBox application for your Mac. Here you will see Mac OS slash Apple Silicon host file. Just click on it to download the application. As I have already downloaded the file, so I am skipping this process. Next, under VirtualBox extension pack, click on accept and download and download the VirtualBox extension pack. In another tab, search Kali Linux. Now, click on download slash get Kali link and you will see official Kali Linux download page. Here, click on the installer images. Scroll down a bit and you will see download links for Windows and Apple Silicon Macs. Just click on Apple Silicon. Under installer, click on this download button. So this file is around 3.5 gigs. Once clicked, download the installer file to your desktop. Once all the files are downloaded, close the browser. Now, you will see these three files that you have downloaded. The first one is the Kali Linux installer ISO file. The second one is the VirtualBox application installer. And the last one is the VirtualBox extension pack. Just double click on the VirtualBox application installer file. Now, double click on this virtualbox.pkg file to install the VirtualBox application. So these are the basic installation steps and you can follow the video to install VirtualBox application on your Mac. Once the application is installed, click on the close button. Now open your launchpad and click on the VirtualBox application icon to run VirtualBox. Now you have to drag and drop your VirtualBox extension file onto your VirtualBox to install the extension pack. Now, Click on the install button to install the extension pack for VirtualBox. Once installed, click on new. Here, under name, type in the name of your virtual machine. I'm keeping it Kali Linux. Under ISO image, click on the downward arrow icon and click others. Now, locate your Kali Linux installer ISO file that you have downloaded and click open. Leave everything as default and then click on Hardware. Here, increase your base memory to something around 4 gigs and increase your number of processors to 4. You can also increase or decrease these limits depending upon your requirements. Once everything is set, click on the Finish button. Now, your Kali Linux virtual machine is ready. Just click on the Start button to start the virtual machine. You will see these two pop-ups asking you to grant access to the VirtualBox application. Here, you have to click on Open System Settings and Enable Keyboard Access for the VirtualBox application. Now type in your password to confirm and you are done. Repeat this process for the second pop-up you see. Just click on Open System Settings, Grant Accessibility Access to the VirtualBox application Type in your password and you are done. On the second window, you will see your Kali Linux virtual machine has already booted but the window is way too small. To increase the window size, click on view and then click on scaled mode. Now for the installation, you need to select graphical install. You can use your keyboard arrow keys to move up and down and then press enter. So these are the basic installation steps of Kali Linux on your Mac. Just follow this video to select your language, your location, and lastly, configure your keyboard. So now, this will take a while. Once you reach, configure this network panel. Here, you have to type in your host name for your system. I'm keeping it Kali and click continue. Now leave this domain name as empty and click continue. Now, you have to type in your full name of the user. I'm keeping it Tech Richard. Now select a username for your Kali Linux account and a password for your user. Make sure you do not forget this username and password else you won't be able to log in to your Kali Linux. Once everything is complete, click on continue. Under partition disk, select guided use entire disk and click continue. Now select your hard disk and click continue. Here you have to select all files in one partition and click continue again. Select 
finish partitioning and writing changes to disk and click continue. Under write the changes to disk, select yes and click continue. Now, this will take around a while to install Kali Linux on your Mac on VirtualBox. For me, it took around 8 minutes for the complete installation. Once the installation is complete, you need to click continue to reboot your Kali Linux. Once rebooted, you will see this UEFI shell. The next steps are important, so please watch it carefully. Once you are redirected to the shell, you have to type fs0 colon and press enter. Now type edit space startup.nsh and press enter. Now type in the following command fs0 colon slash efi slash kali slash grubaa64.efi Once typed, press Ctrl S on your keyboard to save this file. Now, press Enter twice and then press Ctrl Q to exit the editor. Now here, type Reset and press Enter to reboot your virtual machine. Again, when you reach Shell, this time you will be redirected automatically and your virtual machine will boot from your hard drive. Here, just select Kali GNU and press Enter to start your Kali Linux. Now, type in your username and password and click on the login button. Once logged in, open terminal and type in the following commands. The first command is sudo apt update and press enter. Type in your password and press enter again. So this will update all your Kali Linux and upgrade all the packages. Now type sudo apt install linux headers generic to update the linux headers. This will take a while to install all the linux headers onto your system. I will share all these commands in the video description below so you can just copy and paste from them now click on devices on the top bar and click insert guest editions cd image with guest tools you will be able to use some advanced features of virtualbox once you click on it you will see this disk icon on your desktop just double click to open this now copy all the contents of this folder and paste them into your documents folder Once done, open your terminal again. Now type cd space documents and press enter. Now type ls and press enter to view all the contents of this folder. Now you have to install this vbox linux edition arm64.run file. But before doing that, we need to change the file permissions. To do that, type in sudo chmod space 777 space and the name of the file that is vbox linux editions dash arm64.run now type sudo dot slash and the name of the file that is vbox linux editions dash arm64.run to execute this file once you run this file Make sure you have exited the scaled mode. You can do that by going into view section of your top panel of your virtual machine. Once everything is done, close your virtual machine. Now click on settings, go to advanced and under shared clipboard and drag and drop, set them to bidirectional and click OK. Now restart your virtual machine. You can now try dragging drop a file between your macOS and your Kali Linux.
you can also try to copy paste text from one operating system to the other and vice versa. You can also try to open your Firefox browser and see if the internet is working. So with this, you have successfully installed Kali Linux on your Mac using VirtualBox. So if you face any issues, just comment down below and I will get back to you. Also, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these. I'll see you in the next one.